Hello friends, welcome back to the shop. Today is Sunday, June 14th, and a very happy Flag Day to all you folks here in the United States. We'll be talking about Flag Day a bit um, as things go on, but I'll tell you, it is an absolutely beautiful day here in southeastern Pennsylvania. Uh, when I got up this morning, it was 51 degrees. The high today is going to be 70. Bright sunshine, blue skies. Yesterday was very similar. And apparently, we're going to have this kind of weather out until, uh, I think, Thursday. Where we're going to expect some rain. So we shall, we shall see. Um, but, yeah, I'm... Uh, I'm enjoying the weather, getting a lot done out in the yard. Uh, planted some things. <laughs> planted a uh, calla lily for my wife yesterday. And uh, if, you, if you don't follow me on Instagram, I'll, I'll put a picture in here because this is funny. Um, we have very rocky soil here. And so to plant something like this is not a simple endeavor. Uh, so I, I spent you know quite a bit of time picking pickaxing and moving rocks and stuff like that and I got the thing in the end she decided to go out for something she needed to buy or something and she left me to do this she trusted me and she came back in and I'll put the picture here and she looked at it and she says you put it in backwards I didn't know plants had fronts and backs. I thought they were pretty much radially symmetric, but apparently I put it in backwards. So one of the things I got to do today is undo that and turn it around. So it is Flag Day, a um, day when we uh, traditionally celebrate the flag and, and, and well, not not the flag as a, as a thing, but what the flag stands for. You know, what, what the uh, the flag stands for in terms of both the values of the country and the principles that the country is built upon, but also the um, the battles that were fought in order to found this country and and to protect those values and, and those principles. So it's a it's a very important day, and everyone is encouraged to fly a flag today and it can be anything from a little three by five thing you put in your front yard to you know a big massive run it up the flagpole kind of thing uh, respect it you know if you if you don't know uh, there, there's uh, ways that you treat the flag there, there's certain things you should and should not do uh, I'll put a link below to that and even if you guys are outside of the US you might be interested in in taking a look at it and I would really be interested in hearing if uh, in your country there's a similar uh, sort of reverence associated with the flag. Again, it's not the item itself, it's, it's what it stands for. And, you know, this is, a, this is an important flag day. I've been thinking about this a lot the past couple of days. You know, this might be the most important flag day that we have ever experienced in this country because we, those principles, those values that this country was founded upon are under attack and, you know, more, more viciously than have ever been in the past. You know, a year ago this time, we were all worried about, you know, whether or not we'd be able to buy tobacco in five years' time. And, you know, that might still be a problem. Uh, in fact, the way things are going, it probably will be a problem. But honestly, guys, I'm starting to worry that we might not be allowed to fly the flag in five years' time. I mean, that's how crazy things are getting. And I want to go, go on the record, uh, you know, as saying that this has nothing to do with the, the racial tensions that are, that are uh, being revealed and, and being played out in, in our country right now. It's, it's not that. Uh, you know, I... I I'm a firm believer in the need for, for racial equality. Uh, and, you know, the, some of the recent events, some of the not-so-recent events uh, that, that have occurred have been 
horrific and have rightly been brought to the forefront and uh, hopefully we can uh, move forward and, and, and change those things. But it's gone well beyond that, well beyond it. And I think there are forces that have taken it full advantage of the whole coronavirus nonsense. shouldn't say nonsense. I believe firmly that there is a coronavirus. I believe firmly that it's uh, it's a dangerous virus and we, we need to be careful about it and everything else, but we've taken it to extremes. And I think that there are folks that have taken full advantage of those extremes to try to push an agenda. So we'll see how it pans out, but it's uh, it's, it's a worrisome time. It's a very worrisome time because you've got certain political factions aligned with the media. The media is only putting out the information that those political factions want you to have. Uh, you've got, on the other side, equally bad disinformation coming out, but it's coming out in a way now that are making anybody that doesn't agree with the mainstream media seem like they're, you know, tinfoil hat conspiracy theorists. And, but that's not good. There's got to be a middle ground where facts live. Uh, and it's a very, very difficult middle ground to find. So, uh, hopefully you're not finding this too political. I'm not, uh, I'm not supporting one faction over the other. I'm just saying we need facts and truth. And, you know, we need to get back to the principles and values that this country was founded on, and, and they're, they're no different than uh, principles and values that many other countries have been founded upon uh, in, in democratic nations where, you know, we accept that, uh, not, not only accept, but we, we insist that people have a right to, uh, to quote, uh, life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness, and those are inalienable rights, as, as Thomas Jefferson pointed out to us. Uh, we need to protect those inalienable rights. So, that's enough of that, but uh, it's on my mind. It's Flag Day. I felt that I had to say something. So, I hope you're all enjoying the weekend. Uh, by the way, I'm having, this is the uh, Hercules and people always ask, Hercules was, was I believe, a 7LE second line. Uh, I don't think Hercules are made anymore, but I could be wrong about that. And I'm having some Rustica. And Rustica is a... very fine smoke. Uh, I've talked about it before. I think the whole nicotine thing has been overstated. Um, this is no more, uh, this, this has no higher nicotine content than many other things that I smoke. Uh, you got to keep in mind that yes, the Rustica leaf is higher in nicotine than a Virginia leaf, but it's not, this is not pure Rustica. It's blended with other things, so that all averages out in the blend. Uh, so it, yeah, it's, I, I don't know, I think, I think it's been overplayed. But the flavor is quite nice. It's, um, it's got this little... Um, I was calling it floral. Somebody said cinnamon, and, and it kind of clicked for me that cinnamon is the right, the right descriptor. But it's a sweet cinnamon, and it's it's not it's not a deep. It's a it's a very high light note on the on the the, the tobacco, and it's it's wonderful. Uh, reminds me of Samoy for that reason. Uh, Samoy is a completely different animal, but that flavor profile. The only other place I've, I've detected it is in some way. Which I know is actually supposed to be called Vin Vincent Manil Samoy, I think, uh, is the full name. And some people pronounce it Samoa, and I do not know if that's correct or not. So I've always called it Samoy, and I'm going to keep calling it Samoy. Uh... Shop's been buzzing. Uh, lots and lots of cool stuff going on. Um, I hate to keep harping on Instagram, but if you if you're interested in shop stuff, that's the best place to get it. I 
I put up lots of in progress pictures. Um, so I'm, I'm uh, Kane Rod Piper on Instagram. So check that out and give me a follow, and you'll be able to keep up with all the stuff that's going on in the shop. Uh, we've got I'm working on the, one of the things that I'm working on right now that's kind of cool is a uh, a twin bore stem. Uh, this is something I'm doing for our friend uh, Corvette Jim at CJP Pipe Rescue, and that was a lot of fun figuring out how to how to do it properly. Uh, it took me a while, but I got it, and uh, the nice thing is now that I figured that out, I can make other twin bore stems. Um, not that I'm dying to do so, <laughs> but you know, if if the pipe had a twin bore stem and that's somebody wants it replaced with an authentic uh, replication, then I, I can do it. So that's cool. But otherwise, I've just been keeping busy. I'm, uh, the shop's closed today. I, I've decided that since I'm spending so much time down here during the week, um, and, and a lot of the time, you know, I'm working. You know, I, I, I don't want to make it sound like I'm just playing over in the shop all the time, uh, just in case my boss is watching. My boss isn't watching. But, uh, you know, I, I get these 10, 15, 20 minute breaks where I can run over there and, and do some work. I usually will do some work during lunch. Uh, so I'm getting a lot of work done during the week that I normally wouldn't. So I've decided that as long as I'm working from home, and God only knows how much longer that's going to be, uh, I'm going to take off Sundays. I'm not going to do any pipe work on Sundays. And that will allow me to take care of all the things that my wife wants me to do, <laughs> like turning around the plan. I love her, but... Uh, you put the plant in backwards. I don't know. So I hope you've been enjoying the um, the the new series that started last Monday. Uh, this little Dunhill stubby. I think it's a three oh five. Uh, it's pretty interesting. Uh, series of things going wrong with that pipe, and uh, it was it was a lot of fun to to get that one back to uh, back in shape. So next episode we'll post on Monday, and I think there's I think there's four in total. So you'll be if you watch Monday's episode, you'll be halfway through, and there'll be two more to come. And lastly. Um, before I, I wrap up, I wanted to say I I have been oh I've actually got two things to say, sorry. It's been difficult for me to find time to make videos the past couple of weeks. Just work's been busy and I've had a lot of pipe work that I needed to catch up on. And uh, you know, I do have other things that I have to do. So I, you know, apologize for not keeping up with the Sunday chats and not keeping up with the uh the Wednesday uh I hate to call them roadway rambles because I don't go anywhere, but you know what I mean. It's just been tough to, to find the time for those, but I fully intend to keep those things up. Um, it's just there's going to be weeks where I can't, and I, th I think you guys understand that. But the other thing is we are going to have a weekend uh, live stream on Saturday afternoon, next Saturday afternoon. Uh, I do this once a month. It's just sort of a <clears throat> thank you for, for my subscribers. And I normally do a giveaway. I haven't yet identified a an item for that giveaway. And I don't know, I might just wind up being a tin of tobacco. We shall see. Uh, nothing wrong with a tin of tobacco, after all. Uh, we usually do some kind of a trivia uh, question. And uh, yeah, it's a lot of fun. I, I enjoy it. Uh, it makes somebody happy. And like I said, it's an opportunity to thank everybody, not just the folks that make videos, not just the folks that comment frequently, but, but everybody out there that, that wants to watch. So by all means, tune in next Saturday. That will be at 4 p.m. Eastern, and I'll get that scheduled uh, sometime later this week. This Friday, we have a... Um, 
solo live stream. So it's just going to be me uh, chatting with you guys. Uh, last Friday was Jason Mouton of J. Mouton Pipes. That was a fantastic uh, conversation. I really enjoyed talking with Jason. And the feedback I've gotten on that one has been very good. So if you haven't seen it, go check it out. It's, uh, it's in my... I'll put a link below. But yeah, the, it's if you're at all interested in pipe making, um, it was great. It, it was really revealing uh, some of the things that Jason had to, to tell us. And, uh, you know, nothing terribly surprising, but just insightful. All right, folks, I've rambled enough. Um, You'll have a fantastic Sunday and a great week ahead. And until we meet again, I'll look forward to talking to you all again very soon. Goodbye now.